Hello, YouTube. It's the end of the month. And I can't even say it with my normal jingle. Y'all know usually I say end of the month. But we, we actually on some serious topic right now. Um, I just got a notification on my um phone. And it, it, it prompted me. To do, and I normally don't do stories like this. I tap on them from time to time. But I think it's all uh, um warranted that I go ahead and get my thoughts on this. So... Y'all know it made nationwide news that a young girl from Virginia uh, was allegedly pinned down by three white guys, right? Three young boys, to be exact. And she was bullied at this private school, and her dreadlocks was cut off. Now, all of a sudden, they're claiming that the whole shit was a lie. And I'm going to tell you that's some motherfucking bullshit. And I, so let's get into it. So, yeah, you hear him right. Now, I'm just seeing from a CBS News article that the whole thing is a lie. And I knew that this shit was going to happen. And let me tell you why. Because this is a private school, majority white-owned. Um, But you know what? Before I even get to my thoughts, let me just read this stuff first before I go ahead and jump into my synopsis. So, the quote, the CBS, and I wish I could have did the screen share, but since this is on my phone... And, you know, I can't really do all that technology where pulling it up on the phone. Even if I did, the image would be too small as opposed to if I had it on my um, actual web page and I could pull up the article from there. So I'm just going to read it off. But for reference, it will be in the description box by the time this video uploads. So a 12-year-old black girl from Virginia has recanted an accusation that her white sixth grade classmates pinned her down and cut off a dreadlocks. I have an image of her right here. Her family in a statement Monday, um, Stephanie Danish, the head of Emmanuel Christian School. Keep that in mind. Christianity. I've been telling y'all about these Christians, honey. Also confirmed the, act, uh, the allegations were false. Following an investigation by the Fairfax um, County Police Department, Danish said Amiri Allen, the student who accused three of her classmates of assault, acknowledged the accusations were not true bullshit while we are relieved to hear the truth um, and bring the events of the past few days to a close we also feel tremendous pain for the victims and the hurt on both sides of this conflict he said we recognize that we now enter what we will be a long season of healing okay, okay. Alan's family apologized to the to the boys in the school for the pain and anxiety these allegations have caused. To the administrators and families of Emmanuel Christian School, we are sorry for the damage this incident has done to trust within the school and family and the undue scorn it has brought to the school, the family said. We understand there will be consequences and we and we're prepared to take responsibility for them. They added to the broader community who rally in such passionate support for our daughter. We apologize for betraying your trust. And last week, Allen told CBS affiliate WUSA um, TV that the boys called her dreadlocks ugly and nappy before cutting them off on the playground during recess. They kept laughing and calling me names. Allen told the station, tearing up, they called me ugly, said I shouldn't have been born. They called me an attention seeker. Her family pays nearly twelve thousand a year um, for her to attend private school. Okay, here's my thoughts on that. Reading that long dissertation from CBS, I think this is a bullshit setup. That the black um, parents are going along with this bullshit to keep her daughter in a school where she will be afforded a more uh, e uh, upper echelon lifestyle. Because if they're paying twelve thousand dollars a year. And I'm assuming that's one of very few schools. Uh, they want their daughter to still be there so it looks more credible on the resume. And because if she could have just gone to public school or, you know, a black, you know, a, you know, more integrated school where the population ain't as heavily concentrated with white people. Because you can't tell me in darn on Fairfax, Virginia, there ain't a, a good amount of darn on black people but in the South. Come on now. But you got your daughter in this all-white school. 
a Christian-based school in the deep Bible Belt South where the Klan runs heavy, and you telling me that a 12-year-old decided to come out the blue and make up a doggone lie that can easily be verified by checking her dreadlocks to see if there are any has hazardly cuts because if they just doggone started cutting sporadically in her hair, I highly doubt that they did it with precision where the dreadlocks were all uniformly cut even. So we couldn't verify that the dreadlocks, because I'm granted that I'm sure she didn't pick up her dreadlocks after for it to be undeniable proof. But you telling me that they couldn't expect the dreadlocks to see that there weren't any cuts anywhere? Really? You telling me a 12-year-old was willing to make up such a lie during a time frame where there are actual uh, black people uh, being forced to have their dreadlocks cut off? Uh, just a darn on play on a wrestling team like I just did that just a couple videos back. California just passed a law, uh, 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 you know, banning the discrimination in the workplace and in school for people who decide to wear their natural hair. So you telling me during the wake of all of this, you telling me that this 12-year-old decided to lie with authentic tears in her eyes? Uh-uh. I believe that her parents are coercing her her parents are on some motherfucking coon shit because they are doggone willing to let their doggone daughter still stay in the whites only past. And I'm going to say it like that. It, it, it seemed like uh, the daughter, uh, the parents of the daughter want her to stay there against her will uh, with all this. And then they're going to act like they're going to chastise. I bet you they. Uh, it was a stipulation where the school said, you ain't going to fix this shit up right now. Or your daughter will be kicked out. So I believe that the punishment is, you know, they're going to give her a couple of days suspension and make it seem like they're really doing something. But they, uh, they're going to allow her to stay there. But they got to make it look like that they're really punishing her for this lie. But I believe that the school, and this is my humble opinion, because I don't think the child is lying on this. I don't see a 12-year-old coming out and lying that, uh, that three white people hold her down and cut her dreadlocks. Now, black people don't have a propensity to lie like that, especially church. Nah, -uh. Unless a second alternative is that some it, it, it is very racial going on in that she made up the story so she can get out to school anyway. So it's one of those two things, but I'm leaning more towards that her dreadlocks was cut and that the school is intimidating the parents that is like, okay, either you darn going to backpedal on this motherfucking shit uh, and darn going so we can reclaim our darn on school as a non-racist school, even though yo, I highly believe that it is some racism going on in there. I believe it do. I believe that the child was pinned down by three boys and darn going to show was cut. And that her parents don't give a damn. Because they are they are so, you know, fixed up with this educational system about, you know, private schools and going to the upper echelon school and this going to look good on your resume, this, that, and the third, that you allow your daughter to be subject to darn on torture to go along with this bullshit. And ain't she going to go rightfully grow, grow up and resent y'all for that motherfucking shit? She gonna grow up to resent y'all for that if if this is what it is because I I don't I don't think that the daughter was lying I don't and if she was uh we did have to ask why would this twelve year old girl have to lie why did she lie so even if she was lying about this because they may not have cut her dreadlocks off but there was significant amount of comments that warned her to want to be in another school altogether. And the parents are not going for it. So either way, the parents seem like they don't want to take the girl out of the school. Either she lied to get out of the school so she wouldn't have to be around only white people. Because it seems like this Christian school is majority white. She don't have a lot of people there that look like her. And they are actually darn on calling her all types of names and stuff. And she made up this lie in, in, in an attempt to get out of the school. So... I believe in a way she was being bullied. Even if she was verbally being bullied and she made up this lie, which I'm not as inclined to believe, or she was held down, the dreadlocks was cut off, but the parents, for whatever reason, on their cool shit, want to keep her still at this private school paying $12,000. So the, the parents are actually making some money. Because the average darn on parent working, uh, uh, you know, making $20,000 a year is not paying $12,000 for private school for their children. 
So obviously these parents are uh, upper middle class. We talking about, I ain't looking into their background, but one of the parents must be a lawyer, uh, a doctor, or something of that caliber. A high paying teacher, because the average well, parent working at McDonald's or working at Walmart or working at a plant somewhere is not paying $12,000 a year for their darn old child to go to school. So I believe that the parents are on some Ben Carson type shit and they're going along with this darn old supremacy and their daughter is going to take a temporary hit of a suspension to preserve the integrity of the school and she's going to grow up and resent the parents. So what are y'all thoughts on this? I think that this is a whole darn on setup, set up not by Mama Joyce bring to us with the bullshit, but by the darn on uh what's the school call again? Uh Manuel. I don't I think I said Emmanuel like the darn on Bible, but it starts with an I. Let me the Emmanuel Christian school, so I M M A N U E L. Y'all tell me how that's phonetically pronounced. Um, but the Emmanuel Christian School, honey, I think this was the darn gone uh, plan set up with Emmanuel Christian School to bring back to us with the bullshit at this young black chocolate girl's expense. And I'm not having it either way. She's being bullied somehow. Either she lied to get out that damn school because I, uh, the thing is when black people come up with something like this, it is not just in fun and uh, uh, just the darn gone uh, put because black people, we don't have a long history of darn on lying on white people just for the fun of it. So it, once again, if she lied about this darn on incident, there is something else going on. Because black people, when we lie, it's always to get away from some shit. So Ina, she, once again, she either lied in my opinion so she can get out that school or they actually did do it, which I inclined, I'm i more inclined to believe in that, that her parents are forcing her to doggone lie and recant her statement. So what's y'all thoughts on this? Um, leave it down in the comments box below. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all soon with more videos. Mwah.